in a charming mountain town in North Alabama is the Kate Duncan Smith DAR School. Since 1924, this school, founded by the Alabama Society DAR, has educated children in patriotism and citizenship while preparing them for the future. But as groundbreaking developments in genetics, artificial intelligence, robotics, nanotechnology, 3D printing, and biotechnology ushers in the fourth industrial revolution. How do we ensure our students have the technical skills needed to compete and prosper in the future? STEAM education at DAR Middle School has provided hands-on experience that gives our students the opportunity to learn, develop, and strengthen STEAM skills, making our students' learning relevant. To meet this demand, STEAM education is a critical part of the curriculum at Kate Duncan Smith DAR Middle School. STEAM education provides students with the opportunity to learn and strengthen science, technology, engineering, art, and math skills, reinforcing what is already being taught in the classroom. In many schools, STEAM programs are unavailable or underfunded. But thanks to the vision and the support of the Alabama Daughters and State Regent Nancy Folk, in partnership with Huntsville Steamworks, this program has become a reality at KDS DAR Middle School. It is such a blessing to have such a program that provides a hands-on, interactive program and opportunity that prepare our students for the future. Students in the fifth through eighth grade each experience a nine-week course with hands-on training and robotics that takes a project from design to coding to implementation. The programs are designed to challenge students while meeting the state curriculum standards for each grade. In robotics class, I learned how to do so several things with circuitry. We learned how wires worked and how positive, positive and negative wires are different from each other. First, we would put a tiny bulb in the Play-Doh and then connect wires to a battery and to the Play-Doh. In robotics, I learned how to build a robot out of Legos and we programmed it to walk across the floor and come back to us. In addition to designing and building robots, which builds on math and science lessons, students are also learning invaluable life skills, such as teamwork and collaboration, problem solving, resilience, and conflict resolution. When I get out of school, I want to be a computer engineer, and robotics helps me figure out things I may need to know for that job. When I grew up, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I think the robotics program will help me with team working and problem solving skills. When I grow up, I want to do coding and programming computers, and I think robotics will help me achieve that goal. To see the growth and development in these students, not only in their math and science abilities, but also in their leadership skills, is truly amazing. An after-school program allows students to delve deeper into their exploration of robotics. It's important to me that the robotics program continues because I have four children. My oldest two are in robotics right now and my younger two are already talking about getting to do robotics when they get older and it's really given them a good sense of what engineering is all about. None of us can see into the future. But with STEAM skills being developed through these robotics programs, we are meeting the challenges of a global society head on. We know our futures are bright because of what we are learning at KDS DAR Middle School. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Will Keller, and this is DAR TV. Tennis tryouts will be held on October 16th at 2.30. A sign-up sheet is in the office. A physical must be on file to try out. FFA cookout will be October 4th for paid members only, and your fees are due today. Student volunteers are needed to work at the Dan Robinson Memorial 5K Run and Walk, and Kids Color Run on Saturday, October 12th at the Grant Town Park. This is a great opportunity to get community service hours for your graduation. You must sign up before Wednesday, October 9th. Students, please see Ms. Finley to pay your school fees. Beta Club is introducing a new service project, Socktober. Throughout this month, Beta will be accepting new and lightly used socks to donate to local shelters. Tomorrow, there will be bins set in Ms. Clark's room for each class. Patriot points will be rewarded to the winner. All right, I've spotted Kanan from second grade. Kanan, what are you going to be doing over fall break? Um, 
playing football in my yard. Yeah. Playing football? All right. Will, Will, come here. Will, come here. I need you to take this over. Kanan is about to, me and Kanan are about to do a demonstration of what he's going to be doing all fall break. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Come on, you're going to throw the football to him. <laughs> throw the football. Let's see that arm. Woo! Oh, okay. Touchdown. Hi, I'm Spencer Loback. I'm here with Patriot Vision, and we're at the pep rally, and we're going to be interviewing some kids about their costumes. So for our first interview, we have Drew Altman, a 12th grader, and he's going to tell us a couple things about his costume. Yeah, so I'm dressed up as a 1950s greaser, and this outfit is very simple because it's just blue jeans and uh, a white shirt, and that's pretty much all that I put into it, so it's very easy to dress up in it today. Yeah. All right, sweet. Thank you. Have, a, have fun at the pep rally. <laughs> I'm here with Bree. She's a sophomore, and she's going to tell us a couple things about her outfit. So what decade are you from? Uh, in the 50s. You're from the 50s? All right. And did you get these clothes from your, out from your own wardrobe, or did you go to the store? No. no. I just got that out of my closet. All right. Sweet. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take out Put your arms up. Going up the hill. Go. You lean it back as you go up the hill.
Homecoming is the 20th, 21st. If you want tickets, go see Drew Altman. Look, looks like we got some work going on in Coach Town's classroom. That is that is different. So we're definitely going to check this out. This this could be really good. Who, who knows what's going on? Who knows what's going on? Vinyl business, what's going on? Well, I didn't know if you knew, but we have a new company here at DAR. It's called Patriot Print. We do vinyls, like stickers. We'll do car stickers. You can stick them on the wall, stick them on a window. We're just here hard at work. We got right here, we got our new machine. He's hard at work getting this paper ready. We're going to cut. Isaac, he's getting the images ready. Yes, sir. This is my dude, Wesley. He's 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 cutting out the uh, yeah. sticker right How much here. do they cost? Are they going to cost me an arm and a leg or what? Well, I'll send Wesley over here. Wesley, can you show us some of the stickers real quick? that great quality it's really good we sell stickers one for three dollars or two for five it's depending on how you're feeling one or two and yeah. if you want to buy ten we'll talk about that then yeah. i don't know how many math majors we have in here yeah. but if you buy two you're saving a dollar because two times three is six you get two for five you're saving a dollar definitely a great deal yes sir great quality yes we do custom work as well No. No. Northern Patriots, I'm Will Keller. Uh, more personality, what are you talking about? Y'all need to wash this dirty tabletop. Homecoming. Homecoming is the 21st. I'm being serious, look at how dirty this is. Um, if you want tickets, go see Drew Altman. What else? Dude, me and Miss Fennel, we were racing. And he beat me, he beat me back into the classroom. <laughs> Thank you.
morning, beautiful. This is DARTV with your weekly announcements. The Beta Club meeting has been rescheduled to Thursday at 7.15 in Ms. Clark's room. Attention FCCLA members, please see Ms. Clark to pay your dues and get a copy of the FCCLA magazine. If you're interested in joining FFA, the cost is $15 and you need to get your money in by today or it's too late. Attention students, if you're not aware, we have a lost and found. It's in the high school office. So if you think you've lost something, it's probably in there. Like, if you've lost this axe, a uh, clean cut look, hair gel, or this weird makeup bag, uh, this lunchbox, or this Under Armour jacket that is a medium. So <laughs> come get it. Makeup picture day and senior portraits are tomorrow. Make sure to check the list of appointment times in the Yoakum. Seniors, UAB representatives will be here October 17th at 9 a.m. in the library. Sign-ups are in Mr. Barnes's office. All right, that's it for the school announcements. Now I want to pass it to Will Keller for the world news. Trump has continued to back a two-state solution to the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. South Carolina is still suffering from damages inflicted by Hurricane Florence. Families are dealing with up to 10 feet of flood water. Please keep these people in your prayers. The Braves are currently leading the NL East and making a strong postseason run. All right, Patriots, thanks for watching. This has been DARTV with your weekly announcements. Have a great week.
Priscilla, just Silla to her people, Perkins, enjoys sitting in a candlelit basement, writing poetry, and conjuring spirits on her Ouija board. She often tells her mom it's not just a phase. She is a member of the drama club at West Morgan. In her spare time, Silla enjoys experimenting with hair color and makeup. Oh, I'm scared. 
That's all I can be Days pass I'm trying to find who I really am I've been looking People don't like the way I dress So where I'm at I've been looking I dye my hair And it's not just vanity I've been looking Your validation Is just not that I find it's here I am in peace I've been looking Making fun 